Oh, Brother Monroe here um, with uh, another extra video for you today, uh, courtesy of my wonderful, wonderful patrons. And uh, this scenario has been sent in by Sunless Sky Nova. Now, hmm, this is going to be an interesting one. Um, so, my fleet is patrolling the ocean when an unnatural fog rolls over the horizon. From it, an island of steel emerges. Before I have a chance to react, it starts unloading rounds from rages that are seemingly impossible. Can you sink it before it sinks you? Now, if you've seen my time-displaced um, German mega battleship versus the Grand Fleet, you probably know how this is going to go. Um, yeah, I don't think I stand a chance, but we'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll give it a go. Um, I don't think I have a chance with the guns. Yeah, even 14-inch guns are going to be... They might, but not Mark IIs. So, this is going to be... Um, uh, yeah, Dreadnought II. Yeah, this is going to be a... It's going to be a bit of a silly build. The Erin here. Um, cheapest tower possible. Um... Might actually go for this one because it's small. Okay. I oh, can only fit one funnel on that anyway. That's fine. Um, I need at least two main guns, right? Yeah, we're not really going to care about those very much. Um, I might as well make them actually able to do... No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's just a waste of... Um, just a waste of... Wait. Because... <laughs> we only get underwaters. Oh, sh... Oh, well. There goes my plans. Um, <laughs> i can make this very, very... Where's the smallest one? There. Oh no, I lose the torpedo tube if I do that. We'll go for the big one then. Uh, what? Um, great. Just great. We'll go as fast as we can 30 knots um we'll try and keep that speed for as long as possible we'll go for the best uh, probably don't need those very much but um then you go for tube powder light reduced shells 19 inch uh, standard torpedoes I'm not going to bother with any of that. Not even going to bother with this stuff. Um, trip, double bottom hold might help a little bit. So all the barbettes. Uh, I don't think the enemy will be using torpedoes. Um, There might be. <laughs> Try and balance the ship out. There we go. Perfectly balanced. Um, They're going to be taking hits. It is 98% armor quality. Tell you what. Uh, 20... 10... Let's go for a 2010 armor scheme. That works. Um, can we just bring everything up to the same standard? 
not quite. Still quite a lot of armor. <laughs> um, maybe, just maybe, <laughs> these things are tough enough that they don't, they're not going to die. <laughs> um, maybe. They're fast enough to get into range, and then we'll just have to hope that, you know, the fact that we just can send out the odd torpedo here and there is 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 going to do the job oh my Let's see what the enemy comes up with okay uh is that a super battleship or is that a i can't tell it might be a dreadnought in which case we might have a chance. Okay. Um, but my battleships are pretty much my only shot. Uh, so I'm going to micro them individually. Erin, Resolution, Lord Nelson. So have the Howl and the Rodney, uh, and then the cruisers. And destroyers, I'm just gonna try as best I can. So, uh, heavy cruisers, put yourselves abreast normal and go north light cruisers normal abreast go north wherever you wherever your lead ship is there there we go destroyers normal formation abreast go that way well, we'll watch the uh, AI probably completely fail to do any of that but Excuse me, I will be back in a moment. Sometimes when you sit down to record a video, you just want to be left to your own devices. Oh my word, right. Um, well, we're taking fire. Uh, The AI's done not a bad job getting the fleet in some sort of order. I mean, it's spread out all over the place, but um, it's not terrible. Right, back to times 10. Uh, there are more this way. Of course, they'll have um, radar. And I most certainly do not. What torpedoes have we got on these guys? 19 inch. Um, heavy cruisers aren't going to do much. Mers the uh, light cruisers have torpedoes. Probably just some underwater launchers. Because these are all First World War vintage ships. So, well, the destroyers aren't too far off. I'm all modern ship, but um, the rest of them are all pretty ancient. Not seeing a huge number of shells coming out from the enemy. tell what they're firing at either. Wait, wait a minute. Shells are coming from there? 
Ooh, poor destroyer. There's only one of them, right? Oh, enemy in sight. Okay. Here we go. Um, okay, yeah, well, that's not as monstrous as it could have been. Still pretty monstrous. Wow, okay. 15 inch guns, really? I might actually have been able to do this with a more sensible ship, but. Um, oh, well. Everybody uh, close in. I know 19 inch. Torpedoes are not the best in the world, um, but they should be able to do something. One would hope. Of course, if you're um, writing this type of challenge for me, um, or you're thinking, because this is not the first time that um, it's been like, oh yeah, take on a Japanese mega battleship, or a German mega battleship, or take on a this or a that, or fight a Bismarck or a Yamato or something like that. Um, currently, you cannot do anything uh, in terms of predicting or controlling what the enemy produces. Um, however, the devs have stated that that ability will be coming where you can uh, set all the ships in a custom custom battle. And I'm assuming that has something to do with the custom battle um, save system that is on the way um, so that we can, you know, design the battleships so I could design my battleship design theirs um, as well should be a really good feature for uh, content creators like myself um, because we can do things like setting up historical battles and refighting them uh, properly uh, stuff like that so yeah exciting stuff no ID yet of course, it's uh, just merrily plinking away at my destroyers, which need to get within seven kilometers to fire. Uh, I believe the battleships are going to be similar. Yeah, seven kilometers before we can start flinging torpedoes. Firing nine inch guns now, though. Don't expect them to do much. There we go, the Kasa Wow. <laughs> Thirty-three thousand tons, minimum bulkheads, slow. <laughs> really? Probably could have taken this on with a more normal build. Uh anti torpedo five, however. And triple hull. And sonar. So might have been better off with um, going with some guns, but yeah. At least we're able to catch up to her. Mind you, 1915 guns are not the most accurate things in the world. Um, by any means. And as well, we do have forward firing torpedo launchers. Because we have the underwaters. I'm now curious what year unlocks the deck torpedo launchers for battleships. Here's another destroyer. My cruiser is going to find it very hard to uh, get into the fight. Of 
Destroyers. Still not in range. Rodney. Nope. Also still not in range. I think Rodney is the closest though. Range to target. Ah, okay. We're in range. Rigorous. Tell me what. Aggressive torpedo launches, please, rigorous. And any other destroyers that actually managed to make it into range. Gonna fire them before you sink or not? Nope. Rodney continues to close in very slowly. What well, we are now six kilometers. She heading directly away from us. Yeah. Morning star. Come on, aggressive torpedo launch. These destroyers detach. Just because they're uh, they're very heavily damaged. Morning Star still not launching. Please launch. Where's your launcher? Yeah, it's aimed. Oh, just, just typical for me in torpedoes. They never ever bloody work. There goes the morning star. Rodney, very close to the uh, Kasagi now. But uh, I just don't think she's got the angle. Definitely has the range. There we go. Torpedo out. Mm, it's going to be a miss, though. Yeah. Don't know if she detected it or she was just... No, it's just a miss. Scoring a hit with a nine inch gun. Fearsome. All right, Rodney. Come on, you got a good shot there, surely. Problem, of course, is. Um, Underwater torpedoes tend to have a pretty limited field of fire. Torpedo away. S almost immediately spotted. Right, fine. Off with the torpedoes. We're going to do this differently. Oh, I actually managed to do a little bit of damage. Their guns. Torpedo out the front. I'll have to turn to starboard to avoid. Hit the Rodney's funnel again.
Romney continues to barrel in. Good, good. Come on, get him. We're actually larger than they are, which is hilarious. Right, forward. Take this, you bastard. Torpedoes to normal. Right, Lord Nelson. No, don't ram the uh, the Rodney. Ram him. At least five torpedoes at him. Thank you. A couple of torpedo hits. Right, how? Oh, we got him! <laughs> yeah, there we go! <laughs> well, that is not how I expected that to go. <laughs> oh, my word. Well, there you go. Top tip. <laughs> Top tip. Make your ships out of a block of steel and just smash into the enemy actually don't do that it's a really bad idea but um <laughs> uh there we go i hope you enjoyed that one and um <laughs> i'll see you again soon for some more ultimate admiral dreadnoughts Bye bye